hi everyone welcome to our uh, marine knowledge channel this is your sailor bacha so in this video i will try to show you how to do fuel oil filter routines for die hard generator it's actually we have to do every 250 hours in spite of uh, your uh, normal routines it is always a good practice to do fuel oil filter routines and lube oil filter routines every 250 hours for generators so what are the procedures that we need to do everything i'll try to give in this video we'll go and check the video so after uh, taking the steps that i mentioned earlier now first thing we need to do is we have to remove the purging plug so that uh, the idea of uh, loosening the purging plug is you have to remove all the fuel which is inside the filter so once the fuel which is coming out through the cock stop then that means uh, two things you can identify from it that means your uh, inlet valve is holding the other thing is there is no pressure inside the filter so that is what we are going to do now just uh, have a bucket open it slowly and uh, you can see the diesel oil coming out from the filter so sometime what you do is we need to keep a gasket so that uh, the oil which is leaking out will go within the pot and it goes through the drain pipe so now we are uh, loosening the nut you can see uh, the, it's a small uh, plug like thing it's a small plug actually you can see the diesel oil is coming out that means uh, the oil inside the fuel oil filter is still under pressure so we need to release the pressure that means uh, we need to wait for some time so i had removed the plug now you can see the diesel oil pressure is slowed and it is stopped so you confirm uh, the entire loop fuel oil which is coming out of the filter is uh, totally stopped then you can start opening the filter cover so you can see the oil pressure is no more now i am opening the top cover nut so just open it and keep the nut safely uh, here i am going to open the cover first slowly open the cover and you can see inside uh, you can see there will be the filter just remove the filter up just uh, you have to wait for some time so that the filter should not uh, get damaged again put back the cover and put back the nut this is for just for safety thing nothing much and uh, okay we are doing that so again uh, we are going to open the next filter so the idea for uh, opening this two filter at a time is uh, we are at port and uh, we are uh, engine is stopped so we can do the uh, both the filter at a time if not if you want to do any one filter you can use the changeover handle changeover and you can uh, do cleaning for one filter at a time but here since we are at port and we are at shore power we are doing the both the filter at a time so again the same process we are opening the cover nut okay so remove the nut uh, first initially slack the cover so that if there is any pressure inside the chamber uh, that will be released and uh, keep the nut safely because sometimes this nut get uh, missed out and it will be a problem again you have to use some other nut because these nuts are very uh, special nut, high temperature nuts so it should be taken care of very much so now we remove the cover of the other filter okay okay cover is removed again the same process remove the filter from the chamber okay okay we are remove the filter carry it in a basket and now put back the cover of that chamber the idea of putting back the cover is if in case if any value is not holding the oil should not come out and overflow through the chamber so that is the idea okay okay so now we need to open the filter so how we need to open the filter you use the respective spanner hold the base part 
base bolt with one uh, spanner and the holding down nut with other spanner and you can open it so I'm opening it now it's a long stud so that is what we are opening so that's all open it keep it safely and remove the this is the cover this is your filter body filter you can see yeah dirt inside is these are the dirt that we need to clean it so okay we dismantled the filter now we are going to clean it how we are going to clean it use the diesel oil and air this is the base chamber where the filter sits and uh, that's all nothing much here we already dismantled now we need to clean it okay so first initially what you do is you just keep a rag and uh, remove all the diesel oil over the body all the sludge whatever deposit over the body so and insides inside also clean with the rags just remove everything so once that is done you yeah we are cleaning it okay you can see yeah almost we removed uh, all the dots but still you can find uh, very very minute particles of dirt which is get stick inside the filter meshes so all those things will go away when you wash with diesel oil so okay you can see yeah you can see okay So once uh, the cleaning is done manually, then uh, you can see how to check it. Uh, it's very easy. Just uh, hold the uh, filter and see towards the lamp. It the mesh should be clean. So next is blow air. So before blowing air, keep your rags inside the filter so that if any dirt which comes out while blowing air will get stuck inside the rags. It don't go and stick on the opposite side of the filter. So that is what we are doing now. Uh, first initially clean it manually then uh, give a air wash so all those uh, deposits dirty particles will go away and get stick in the mesh mesh uh, sorry uh, get stick in the rags so this is done okay again have a look then next thing next step is uh, what we do is we put the chemi uh, put the filter in diesel oil and give you a diesel oil wash so always use uh, gloves while you are cleaning the filter when you are uh, cleaning the filter with diesel oil just use brush and uh, clean diesel oil clean it so diesel oil is a very good thing for cleaning these filters because uh, these filters uh, um, undergoes very high temperature with both HFO like uh, HFO will be always 100 plus degree and if it is diesel oil there is there won't be much uh, temperature it's normally 30 40 that's all so okay we cleaned with the diesel oil next step again give a cloth wash just dry it with the racks so once that is done then again uh, give a air wash just blow air over the filter so now we are cleaning you can see it is perfectly done okay so as i said earlier before giving a see you can see here uh, now the filter is very clean but still uh, you can see there is no dirt or nothing just uh, show and okay again before blowing air give keep a rags inside the filter and blow air so this is what we are doing now okay yeah okay so second step is done so next step is uh, we need to box back box back the filter so how to do that we'll see it so before that again uh, give a wash 
Now before boxing and just have a look uh, if, if you you have to hold the filter towards the light and you have to see visible uh, uh, all the filter mesh should be in a visible thing as you can see here uh, when you show towards the light the filter mesh should be clean of any kind of dirt or something you can see here uh, it's very clean now you can see inside also there is no dirt particles the meshes meshes are clean now your filter cleaning is done so next thing is we need to box up the filter okay so first uh, you fix clean the stand also fix the filter body on the groove next this is your flange and next you have to fix the cover yeah this is the handle and it also holds both base and the body so just exactly you have to fit it uh, in center so next thing is you have to fix the nut this nut is a locking nut uh, so you should not put upside down it should be the lock should be always face towards you so the idea of uh, keeping a lock nut here is the nut don't tends to lose at any cost until unless you are using a spanner to open it if not this nut don't move or it this don't get loosened it's a self locking nut so locking it so again for tightening it what you need to do is hold the stud with a spanner and then you have to tighten it so as i said you have to hold it hold the stud with a spanner and tighten it properly more time i say how to tighten it the lock nut should be kept in proper side it should not be put upside down the lock should be always facing top so once this is done you have to hold the stud with the spanner yeah both the side with the spanner and you have to tighten the yeah this is how you have to tighten the stud and the main thing is you should not tighten the stud too much because it may uh, damage the thread or it may damage the flange cover so you have to tighten it easy easy okay so okay so one side you hold the other side you tight so this is how you have to do the tightening of filter okay so we are done with the filter cleaning and we are done with the tightening of both the filters next thing is we have to put back the filter in place in fuel oil chamber so we are going to fit it back both the filter are ready ready to fit back okay the chamber cover is already opened put the filter nicely slowly so that the oil don't splash out okay we are done just turn it and see whether it is turning easily or not so that you make sure it's not stuck somewhere again put back the cover okay so once the cover is in place put back the nut and both the nut should be tightened equally so we're going to tighten it and as i said earlier you have to tighten it both the side equally okay that's all we are done with uh, fuel oil filter cleaning routines so this is how you have to do the fuel oil filter cleaning for diatsu generators so after watching this video you must have got some idea about uh, how to do a uh, fuel filter uh, cleaning what are all the procedures that we need to follow before doing before starting the job so if you have any doubt please put in comment box or whatsapp me definitely i will reply you keep supporting thanks for watching thank you guys